Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's plan with me. This is for the week of December 18th through the 24th. It is the week of Christmas Eve and some very exciting things have gone on this week. Um, but I'll get to that later in the video. Um, I am using the Santa Claus kit from Glam Planner. another sheet here and the bottom washi and then it did come with this giant box here and then the scene I don't think I saw another scene in here no so I'll probably end up using that but I'm also pulling in this solid bestseller um I really don't remember what colorway that's from um but and using the sparkly red foil bundle from Girlfriends Co. And the bottom washi. So, yeah, as usual, I'm going to lay down the base, the boxes, and then I will see you in the day by day. You say you like me better all the way And I swear that I try But I was a blind They say it works it if you let them stay So I count my ties This is my good And I'm saying oh, 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 oh,
day by day time and I will say I'm doing laundry so you're gonna have to listen to my background noise of doing laundry but for this week it was the week of Christmas Eve like I said in the beginning um but for the sidebar I have this December script for my shop and font four and then on the sidebar I have this little stick with plan co girl putting up a tree even though ours has been up um for the countdown to Christmas and I got my washer is draining and it's so loud but obviously there was one week from Monday um and then I have this countdown to the new year mm -hmm. yeah I'm just gonna put that there that's from once more above and then obviously two weeks for that and then I have this girl from Fox and Pip it's like the happy yay girl because we got some exciting news this week um I guess it's not really news we like I'll talk about it later in the week but it's something exciting that's happening for us so I have this script from my shop well I made it for this week this week I used font six for all of the scripts that I made so yeah that's the sidebar and then for our on Monday the first thing I marked is that I wrapped gifts and this girl's from Fox and Cactus, but she's giant, so I cut like most of her off. And then I have the wrap gift script for my shop in font three. Um, I also marked working. So that girl is from Stupid Planco. I believe I use the same girl every day. And then work script is from the foil bundle. Um I listened to more Avatar this day, but this day I actually probably, it's the last day. I actually probably is. This day was probably the last, last day I actually listened to it. I did put it like on hold again and then got it back and I'm one freaking book short and I should just listen to it tonight because it's literally like tomorrow's New Year's Eve and I'm gonna like kick myself if I'm 55% done with the book and I might do that. Anyway, the audiobooks from my shop and then Avatars also from my shopping plot three. And then I watched 90210, which I just peeled myself away from. Um, to film this. So scripts from my shopping plot two. TV is from Nightingale Paper Co. Um, I I keep saying um there's always like one word I stick to, it's either so, um, but anyway, anyway. I foiled stuff for January after I was gonna say school but after work and that foil machines from my shop and then the four January script I made um and then I cut my daughter's bangs this day I don't even know how to like cut this to make it fit I guess she's huge but I have so many that I never use because they're giant from Fox and Cactus and then with Mila Custom from my shop in font four. Um, I was in my feelings. Couldn't even tell you why. I know like this past week has been really rough for my feelings. It's Christmas week right now. And I pretty much had many mental breakdowns over the holidays. Oh, also I have countdowns. I foiled them this week, so that's seven days until Christmas. But I was in my feelings, so I marked that with a girl that's wrapped up in lights from Stick with Blanco, Co. And then the script is from The Foil Bundle. And then this night we watched Friends and Family Christmas, which is the last um, new Hallmark movie for the year. So we watched it. Um, it was actually really cute. And this is from... Sweet Eva's paper, and then the script I made. And then on to Tuesday. The first thing that I marked was that it was payday, so I used this giant present from Fox and Cactus, and payday script from the foil bundle. And then I did mark getting groceries, so this Walmart bag is from my shop. And my humidifier's making noise, but 
the grocery shopping script is from the foil bundle and then I marked working again same thing different day then I marked that I had a jam sh a jam sash with that fox and cactus girl and then the script that's in a font from Black Friday I noticed that like you can't really see like jam sash or like payday It's whatever. Um, but then I did watch 90210. So I marked that the same way. I think I mark it the same way all week that I marked filming with that from Fox and Cactus and then the film scripts from my shopping plot six. And then we watched um Oh, Merry Little Christmas Baby. So I'm gonna lay these down. That's from um so we have a paper and then the script I made. But if you haven't watched this and you don't want to be spoiled, like fast forward 10 seconds or whatever, but it pisses me off when people are pregnant with twins and one, don't know that they're pregnant with twins. This is literally the 21st century or whatever. Like, I don't know. I hate how twin pregnancies are not portrayed correctly in movies, period. I've, I had twins. I'm sure any other real twin mom can tell you. It's not like that. And like I knew from early on I had twins in me so yeah I was, I'm not the rest of the movie was like fine anywho moving on to Wednesday the first thing that I marked was that my twins brought in their teacher gifts and that's from once more with love and then the scripts a custom for my shop Amelia's teacher so she's got technically two teachers, even though like it's really only one teacher where Jude has two teachers too, but it's like actually the two teachers. So we gave two gifts to obviously Amelia's one teacher who did not even give her a thank you card. And then her other teacher, um, who's just like a classroom helper teacher, I think. I don't actually know what she does, but I know that she's in the room and she also helps Jude with things. So we're like, yeah, we're going to give her a gift. And then she wrote back the most heartfelt freaking card and it like made me tear up because I always give a Target gift card and then Ferrero Rocher like the variety pack of the three kinds and she said that her late husband I'm probably gonna cry talking about it but when they got married her late husband and her um gave out Ferrero Rocher I, I don't even know if I'm saying that right Ferrero Rocher um for their like wedding favors and that gets to me because it's like one of those little things that like lets her know that her husband's with her in the holidays um obviously we had no intention no idea that that happened so it's what it is but I thought it was really sweet that she wrote this really long like very heartfelt card like Jude's teachers gave him a card and it was just like thanks for the gift hope you have a great holiday her card like we're saving forever because I can't wait to read it in 10 years and be like <laughs> so anyway that was that and then oh my god this girl is so big why are I probably because I wanted to use them um not that you can tell what this girl is doing because I had to cut this so bad but I did wrap more gifts I think this was like the last of the gift gift wrapped it gift wrapping until Christmas Eve because my nephew's gift came way late but yeah same thing different day and then I marked working again same thing different day my laundry my my laundry machine's being really loud my washing machine is being really loud and then very exciting um Joe and I put in a rental application for a place in Minnesota, which I could also cry. Maybe I'll wait until Friday so I break up my crying to talk really about it, but we did put in a rental application this day and let me tell you, I love fucking technology because I hate talking on the phone. I literally never answer my phone. I don't care who's calling me. Um, but the fact that I was able to do this over like text and email was amazing. So. That's really exciting. We put in a rental app for a place in Minnesota. And then Jude went and got his haircut. So I have this haircut girl. I'm gonna cut off a little. From Stick with the Plan Co. 
and then with Jude Custom from Kristen's Planner. And then I did have a YouTube binge. I think I watched like Randy's vlogs, Randy from Planner Pixie Go. So that YouTube heart, play heart is from my shop. And then the script is from the foil bundle. And then we watched A Very Merry Toy Store, which I love Melissa Joan Hart. Um, also, I thought it was funny because Holiday in Handcuffs is her and uh, Mario Lopez and this movie is too, but made the script that little TV is from Once More Love. And that was the first half of this sparkly red week. And then the second half, Thursday was their last day before um, Christmas, yeah, their last day before Christmas break. I thought I said that wrong. Um, and when we were bringing the twins to school, we saw everybody with like teacher gifts and I was like, I set mine in Wednesday because I was like, no, they're going to close school on Thursday. Last year, they like technically wor worked, oh my God, had school until f through Friday and then Saturday, Sunday, and then it continued off. But last year they closed school on Friday. So I was like, nope, I'm sending mine in early just in case. Um, but we just got a head start on that. Anyway, for pajama day. I have the script I made and then the bunny slippers are from my shop. It was also the first day of winter. So I have this little waiting for snow emoji because we did not, I think it snowed today. I don't know how much snow we got, but it's literally December 30th. We do not have a white Christmas. We almost never do, even though we literally get so much snow. Um, and then the hollow winter is from McPlans. And then the twins had a, not that we've seen it because nobody sent us a video or anything, but they sang um, Jingle Bells Batman Smells. Let me know if you watch this and you know that song, do you say Joker did ballet or Joker got away? It's literally like, I feel like it's a running thing from like my generation, I feel like. Because Joe's a little bit older than me. He says Joker got away. And I say Joker did ballet. And in the lyrics that they learned. It was, it was Joker did ballet. So. If you know that song. Let me know which one you go with. I've literally googled it. And it goes both ways. But we. It's like a long running feud. Anyway. That's from Stick With Plan Co. and then the scripts from my shop to custom and font to duo. And then I did mark working, but I'm gonna cut her legs off. Oh, I guess at her knees. Cut her calves off. And then that, same thing. And then while working, we did watch The Grinch, which I love that. We did not actually watch the cartoon Grinch this year, and that kind of makes me sad now that I'm thinking about it. Um... It's literally like a half an hour thing. Why didn't we watch it? I don't even know where it is streaming, if it is streaming. But anyway, that little Max is from Paper Shire. And then the Grinch script is from, well, my shop. All of these movies besides, like, I think the movie that we watched this night are on my movie bucket list, but I've already used them. However, next I marked watching 90210. And I just had to pull a sticker for this because I did not have a sticker for it, apparently. Pulled. I do have a sticker for it. Um, but that's from McPlans, and then I just used Watch TV for this from the foil bundle. And then I did organize stickers because I'm moving them, I'm trying to condense them because I've used like a lot off of like my reusable sticker sheets that I wanted to. Um, I want to try to condense them. Right now they're in two B6 clouds, but I want to try to condense them into one if that's possible. So less to move um but I marked that with sticker sheets for my shop and then the organized stickers script is from the like a Black Friday font of mine and then we watch the holiday fix up which is not actually on a movie bucket list of mine but we did watch it and I made that script and then that sticker is from Sweeves Paper and then on to Friday the first thing that I marked is that there was no school, so I used this backpack from my shop. And then, no school script in Font 6. Then, I marked signing our lease. So, 
I'm gonna put the sticker down. It's literally like an offer for buying a house, but I just wanna use them. They're my reusable sticker pages on that, on my reusable sticker pages. Anyway, we were accepted um, into the new place in Minnesota and we will be moving there. We will be leaving New York February 3rd, February 4th. Yeah, I think we're leaving February 4th, staying overnight. We're hoping to get to Wisconsin and then going to Minnesota on February 5th. However, it's literally like the far west side of Minnesota. Um, and I cannot tell you how anxious I am about it. Like it gives me massive anxiety because rent is a lot more expensive than it was when we first moved in here 11 years ago. So it can only go up so much a year. Um, but also where we are in New York, we have more toxicity around us than we have like good, I guess. Like I've talked about my neighbor a million times on this, like filming or whatever which so much is like just happened that I don't really talk about and I don't really mark it because I try not to dwell on it I try to be like oh it's a one-off thing but it continuously happens and it's just very very like unhealthy for us to be here for my mental health for my kids we do not go outside which really sucks as a parent like last summer we were outside almost all the time this summer we went outside once and it makes me feel like I'm holding my kids back um, but I don't know what my downstairs neighbor is going to do to us, basically. Don't know if she's going to let her dog off leash, her dog that literally will bark at us and, like, chase after us. And it's not a small dog. I mean, it's a small dog. It's not, like, it's not an ankle biter. It's literally a pit bull. And I love pit bulls, don't get me wrong, but I don't like the ones that, like, growl and chase after you. And on Christmas Eve that happened... Um, basically Joe was getting gifts out of our storage unit that's right outside our front door and this dog came over sniffed him and he turned around and it was like growling barking at him and then somebody some kid from downstairs came over and was like oh he didn't bite she didn't bite you did she and just thinking like why would you let your dog off a leash if you're gonna ask if it's gonna bite anyway I hate being vulnerable so who knows how much of this I'm actually gonna keep in but we, like, Amelia wants to play outside in the snow so bad, even though there hasn't really been a lot of snow. Um, and we aren't doing that here. I literally said, like, oh, maybe if Aunt Kara's not busy, we can go to her house to play. Like, 4th of July, we went over there because we don't know what's going to go on with downstairs. So, it's been really bad for my mental health to even live in this apartment. Um, and we've lived here for 11 and a half years, and the office just, like, basically laughs at us says let's do mediation even though we literally act like we don't exist so what can she put on her tape like what what is she gonna do for mediation because she doesn't really have much to stand on but not only is the area like where we physically live right now toxic we have a bunch of family around us that we don't see like aren't part of our lives so moving across the country like halfway across the country it's from like the east coast to the midwest it's scary as hell but i think that it's going to be really good like i grew up in this area joe basically grew up in this area like not really but close enough he's like a county over but i literally grew up in this county so i hope that 2024 will be great for us and the kids um, I'm very nervous about the school there. I mean, we've literally researched the shit out of it and we know it's not a bad choice. I just, my anxiety like gets to me and I'm like, what if this happens? What if this happens? I'm sure like anybody with anxiety will realize like those irrational thoughts too, like has those irrational thoughts too. But anyway, we signed the lease and we will be moving in February, hopefully. Um, it's such a scary thing too because like I said like rent isn't the same amount that it was when we first moved in here obviously like inflation's a thing and like the cost of living is way too expensive but I'm gonna put this down because then I realized that I forgot to put down the countdown but I made that script but my pay like literally I pay the bills off my shop um it's not guaranteed every week and it's not steady. Like, I don't get, let's say, like, I worked 40 hours a week at a corporate job. You get, you know what you're going to take home. I don't know. So, it is definitely nerve-wracking, to say the least, um, going into this. 
so we'll see how that goes I might end up with a another job or something but anything to get out of this hole we're in anyway sign the lease paid the deposit too and then worked so same thing different day now I'm gonna be sniffling like the rest of this whole video then I did some decluttering because not only are we moving halfway across the country and that's scary we're literally not taking anything like we're taking stuff but like our couches aren't going our bed like mine and my husband's bed not going my desk right now that you see in this video is not going um tv stands not going basically everything in the kids rooms that they use is going like beds and i literally just bought the twins a new bed so we're not state like we're not getting rid of that um washer and dryer i have to get rid of and i love my washer and dryer so that stinks but it does like the place has a washer and dryer and yeah so i might have a moving sale at some point to help us get some furniture and things um a lot of stuff like that we don't need right now is staying in a storage unit i do have a storage unit here so it is staying here in new york but until probably august we plan to come back in august and then because my niece and nephew's birthdays are in august and then my other nephew's in April or september but we do plan to come back in august and then my kids being so loud outside my door um we do plan to come back in august and get the rest of our things but we're not putting furniture in the storage unit we're just literally tossing it um our couch is broken anyway we've had it for eight years and it's not not an expensive couch so and we've had three kids growing up with it so anywho i decluttered which meant i got rid of stuff or put it in a tote to put in the storage unit and then watch 90210 so that tv is for my shop and that script no just kidding that tv is from nightingale paper Co. and script is from my shop i it's literally the same way I marked it, besides the stay. And then I must have just marked face mask because I used a core foil kit and I have that stripped in core foil. But I probably took like a shower this day. I wanted to mark face mask because of the core foil thing. But that face is from Fox and Cactus and the script's from my shop in Font 3. And then we watched the Santa Clauses, which we never actually finished. I didn't really get into the second season that much. So, that is from Once More Love, and then the script is from, well, I made it, it's custom for my shop and font too. And then on to Saturday, the first thing I marked is that I cleaned. I love cleaning. Um, I actually really, really miss cleaning, which sounds horrible, Joe cleans. But I work all the time, so I took Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off, and then I was sick on Wednesday. So I actually got five days off, um, which really sucks. I need to work tomorrow, but anyway, I did clean this day so that is from once more with love and then the scripts from the foil bundle um i also watched all of the holiday friends episodes which start on season two and run through season 10 it's like the ninth or tenth episode i think the first one season two is nine and that's the merry christmas eve eve or happy christmas eve eve and that's obviously christmas eve eve so every year well, for the past couple years, I've watched it on Christmas Eve Eve. And that TV's from my shop and the scripts also from my shop in Fall 4. I don't know if that's still in shop, but it was from my shop. And then I did more filming. So this is the same thing as on Monday. Was it Monday? Tuesday. On Tuesday. Um, just on Saturday. And then I did bake cookies with Amelia. Joe... Joe's favorite are the peanut butter blossoms, so I make them every year on Christmas Eve Eve, um, because it's just too much if I try to make them both, like, both of the cookies on, um, Christmas Eve, so, that's from Stick With Plan Co., and then the baked cookies is from my shop, I think it's from my Christmas bucket list, and then we did watch Christmas movies all day, well, after I was done with watching the Friends episodes. So I made that script in Fall 6 and then the 
stickers from Fox and Cactus. And then I did do laundry. So I have, because Saturday's not my laundry day. Today's Saturday. That laundry detergent for my shop. And then wash clothes from the foil bundle. Um, Amelia. We had like a very serious talk with Amelia. And not, not anything like bad she wasn't in trouble or anything but i love that she comes to us about like concerns and like self-identity issues and things like that um so i did want to mark that we had a talk with mila so this girl's from sweet Vis paper and then the with mila script is from my shop it's custom and fought for and then i marked watching national lampoon's christmas vacation which i love that movie i actually it's one of like my, I don't know, childhood Christmas core memories is watching that movie because of like the cartoons in the beginning, I remember those so well. And then the swimming pool part, just the fact that he imagined a swimming pool, not really everything with it. Obviously I was a kid, um, but love that movie. And that's from Sweet Wives Paper and I made the script, even though it's on the bucket list. And I forgot the countdown again. So three days. And then two days. On to Christmas Eve. The first thing I marked is that it was Christmas Eve. So, have that squidge from Stick with the Plan Co. And then Christmas Eve script from my, it's actually from my countdown sheet. And then more Christmas movies all day. So, same thing, different day. And then my sister-in-law and brother-in-law came over and that car is from my shop and then the script's a custom for my shop and fault five and then we did bake more cookies we did um cream cheese cutouts like cream cheese sugar cookie cutout cookies um which we do every year and those are like the cookies for santa so have the same squidge as this day, but the script is from McPlans. And then we watched the Polar Express and I used a little hot cocoa to mark that with a script I made. And then we did open gifts from the kids and their Christmas pajamas and they got a little Christmas squishmallow too on Christmas Eve. So Amelia got me a little notebook and Jude got me a keychain that says Magnificent Mom and I thought that was so cute. They're so sweet. Also, Jude made me a bookmark that said like, you light up my life or you light up, yeah, my life maybe with like little Christmas lights. On the back it says to Carly from Jude and I'm like, who's Carly? I'm mom, little old man. Anyway, that's from Paper Shire and then the script's from my shop and fought for. And then we all got into our Christmas pajamas and I'm cutting this guy in half because he's huge. Decorated cookies. I think that's from Fox and Cactus and the script is from my shop and font four. And then we were all sitting on the couch, well couches, and Amelia like snuggled with me and then Declan snuggled with me, but I marked, you know, family cuddle time with that script from the foil bundle and then this like custom family from Teddy Plants Go. And then we did play Animal Crossing cause it was toy day. I just have that like pitfall seed from Once More With Love I think. And then the scripts from my shop and fought two duo. And then the kids went to sleep and we watched A Christmas Story, which again is like a yearly tradition on Christmas Eve, we watch it. And that's from Sweetest Paper. It's like a little Ralphie bunny suit. And the script I made. And then Joe and I had some wine. Because, again, Christmas Eve tradition. And that's from Paper and Milk. And then the script's from the foil bundle. And then uh, this is like to mark Christmas, but I'm cutting the Christmas part off. Because I'm marking that Santa came. And... That's from Once More Above, and then I made the script. And that was the week of Christmas Eve. Let me put this one down. But I'm gonna throw it in my planner and then I will be right back. Here is the finished spread. 
I don't know if I love it, but it's fine. And I'm going to flip through everything that's left of this kit. This giant box, like nothing on there. Two boxes there, like almost this whole page. And obviously that whole page, so. Yeah. That was everything for this week's Plan With Me. Um, I'm sorry I got a little emotional during it. But I hope that everybody had a great holiday if you celebrate no matter what holiday you celebrate or if you don't celebrate any of them i hope that you had a great month and as always thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already and i will see you next time bye